How are we doing guys? Uh, quick video here how to show you how to uh, change or remove your coil packs. Uh, so this should only really take about 10 minutes. You've got three tools that you're really going to need. Um, flat blade screwdriver, a 10mm uh, socket and if you've got one a ball ended uh, allen key or a hexagon socket um, this makes life getting out some of the uh, bolts a lot easier. So if you can get yourself one of these, save a bit of time. Otherwise, you just have to use a, a normal uh, hex socket or Allen key socket. So first things first, you need to take your cover off. Pretty simple. You've got two screws here. Just turn them a quarter of a turn. Then lift it up. It says. And then pull it back. Once that's out of the way, you can see then uh, the coil packs are here. You've got one, two, and be three and four underneath there. So we need to remove uh, this part here uh, to get to the coil packs underneath there. So first thing we'll do is we'll remove this connector. So if you just pinch two metal clips either side, pull it back, that should come off. And then what we've got then is one hexagon socket down in here. You can take that out. That's one. Then we can remove this ten mil here for this little vacuum reservoir. Then you just lift it up at the front where that screw was and then pull from the back because it clips in at the back. A bit fiddly but this will come out of here like that. You can take this off completely if you want if you want to remove that vacuum hose there but there's no there's no need. Then there's two more um, Allen key sockets down in here. So I don't know if you can quite see that. Just get my torch. So there's one there, there's one there, might be one in there as well, looks like I've got one missing, but there's one there and there's one on that side. So we'll get both of these out. So I just loosen those. I'm just going to remove this vacuum pipe out of this clip. Just make it a bit easier. And once that's out of the way, you can just fold that out of the way. Just don't bend it too much. But as long as it's out of the way, so it's not going to flap around. Okay, so now. You can see we've, we've got access to all four uh, coil packs here. Um, what we're going to need to do first though is remove the actual plug off of it. So uh, an easy way to do this is, it might be a bit stiff, but what I tend to do is you need to push this little clip back here. So if you actually pull the whole connector towards you, then push back on that clip and then push the whole thing back 
and it should pop off. Uh, I see a lot of people trying to get screwdrivers and things inside here. Um, <clears throat> this, you can really easily break these, they're just only plastic, they can snap quite quite easily. You shouldn't really need to have too much force on them. So again, put it towards me, I push that clip back, and then I push the whole connector back. Yeah. So you can see that's those two plugs are off. So these ones are relatively easy to get out. Uh, you just need to pull them up. You might need two hands on this just to get underneath it and really give it a good yank up so it will be quite tight. If you're really struggling, you might need your flat blade screwdriver and just be really careful and help kind of lever it out. Um, but you can tend to find these can come out with your hands if you're if you're strong enough. So just pull that up. There we go, that's one out. So you can continue and do that for the rest. Some of them are a little bit tricky. So for this one, tight. There we go. And then that comes out of there like that. Same again for these ones then. These ones get a bit tight, you see now. There's a little bit less space. But again, we want to focus on that little clip at the back there. So I'll try and pull it towards me, press the clip, and then push the whole thing back. There we go. And then the same for this one. So these ones are a little bit trickier. So again, just pull them up. And then this one then, if you just give it a twist to the side, will come out. I just want to put these back in uh, order, which I took about. And then for the last one, it's a bit tight. Now this one then, if you put it to the side, because you've got this metal kind of bracket here, you can just about get it out. Okay. So you don't need to take anything out of. So that's all cool packs out. Uh, under five minutes. Um, now obviously, you might have some new coil packs that you want to put in there because you're changing them because you've got a misfire. You might be changing the spark plugs. So pretty straightforward. You can get down inside there and get your spark plugs out now. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to demonstrate today. So I'm going to put these ones back. So in reverse order then. Again, just to the side. A bit of a wiggle, that'll go through. Push it down into place, and then you can get a connect back on. Just line it up in the right position before you push it all the way uh, down. Make sure the clips firmly clip back into place. Nice click, and then the last one. Okay, so that's all the cool packs back in. Just need to put this bracket back. So it looks like we've got a couple of screws missing for mine, but we'll see where it's perhaps been out before.
I'm going to do it up tight just yet. I'm just going to do it hand tight for now. So at least I get these other ones in place. It's a bit tricky because might want to slip. I'm just going to tighten those up. Not too tight, just a little nip. in so this back bit goes in at the back first down in there this is a bit fiddly There we go, so it's all back. Just need to put that plug back. There we go. And the cover back on. Just take the oil thing off for this, it makes it a little bit easier. So push those back in, and I said took a quarter of a turn, lock those back in place. That's it. Set of coil packs, uh, some spark plugs, you could probably do it at the same time in under 10 minutes. Cool. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. See you soon.